Sebastian Rogers is still missing, and there are no official updates from law enforcement. What happened to this child? The longer this case goes on, I feel the more unlikely it is for him to have walked out the door of the Proudfoot home and vanished. No one vanishes into thin air. Sebastian left without his shoes on, allegedly in the middle of the night, in an area where multiple houses have ring cameras. No sign of him at all. This photo has been going around, and many believed it could have been Sebastian. Some pointed out that it is strange that a mother would hold her teenage son's hand in public too. The photo was taken in the Madison area. It was sent to law enforcement, and Nick Beavers has an update for us. The boy's face has been cropped out because law enforcement says it's not Sebastian. While it's not Sebastian, I still think it is brilliant that people are still looking and keeping their eyes open well in public places. At this point, Sebastian could be anywhere. Up to now, there has not been a single verified sighting of Sebastian Rogers. There is no evidence apparently that he ever left the Proudfoot home. No camera footage, no eyewitnesses, nothing. That is absolutely bizarre, since the cameras caught him taking out the trash the night before, even though it was dark and grainy, the cameras still caught a figure walking to the trash bins. So, why not Sebastian leaving the house in the middle of the night? Imagine a 15-year-old boy, leaving home unprepared to run away, but not leaving a trace of evidence. It doesn't make sense. Authorities say there is still no evidence of foul play, although it's not been ruled out. It interests me how they didn't release the video of the last verified sighting of Sebastian leaving the roadhouse with his mother. Maybe because it's still an open investigation, and foul play is still on the table. 